Hey you guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some of my wardrobe essentials for the summertime. Basically pieces that you can really mix and match, that go with everything, things that you definitely need. I wanted to do this video because I figured, okay, I'm always doing try-on hauls, but more so than anything, I want to do something that I feel is helpful for anybody who's just looking for, okay, what items do I need? What things can I mix and match? Like, I really wanted to hook you guys up and create a little bit of a rundown of the things that I just feel are necessities for my wardrobe for the summer. So anyways, you guys, if you're interested in seeing, then of course, please keep watching. We're going to start with tops. I'm a firm believer that you can have three pairs of bottoms that you can just have on rotate, wash and rotate. As long as you have different tops to take you through, then you will be Gucci. I wanted to talk about my favorite cuts and my favorite type of tops for the summertime. The ones that I feel like are essential, the basics that I feel like you need, that are trendy, that look good that look clean my favorite style of tops the ones that are just basic so let's talk about strappy tops I feel like this summer you need a strappy top whether it is a bodysuit or a regular shirt you need yourself a thin strap top I feel like you see everybody wearing these are so comfortable you can definitely use this to tone down your look but at the same time it's still sexy it's flattering and I swear to god I just feel like you need them these are the strappy tops that I'm talking about you see how the strap is extremely thin this is a crop top but I love it because of the fact that it is a little bit of a longer crop top I don't mind showing a little bit but I'm just not into like showing all of my stomach but you guys this one I got at Nordstrom I think they are sold out right now but I will try to find another one from another website and even though the Nordstrom one is sold out I will still link it below for you guys so whenever they do come back in stock you can snag them up this is by the brand lace or leaf I like it because it does have the extra lining here so that you don't have to wear a bra and if your nipples are popping out it's not really gonna be able to be shown which is great Another thing that's perfect about these thin straps is they're so thin to the point where you usually won't have to worry too much about tan lines. So if you are the type of person who really tans easily when you're out or you're intentionally trying to tan and you're going somewhere with a lot of exposed sun, you can wear something like this and you won't have to worry too much about awkward tan lines that a thicker strap might give you. Another one that I wanted to show you guys that I love as well that also has a thin strap is this one. This is a v-neck. This one is a crop top. This one is from Amazon. I will link it for you guys down below. I actually picked this one up maybe about a month ago and I've been wearing it non-stop. This is super flattering. It is on the shorter side, but I always like to pair it with some high-waisted jeans. Once again, it has that super thin strap, which is great, and it is double-lined on the boob area, so you won't have to worry about your boobs being exposed or it being see-through in that area or anything like that. But these strappy camis are absolutely wonderful, and if you don't have yourself some for summertime, you absolutely need them. So these straps are a little bit thicker, but I still feel like these type of tops are still a necessity as well. These are still thin straps. They're not as thin as the first ones that I showed you guys, but they're still a thinner strap right here. These are perfect in black, white, and nude. Um, you could literally wear them with anything. I've paired these with jeans. I've paired these with shorts. I've paired these with skirts. They're wonderful. I love these because they do have a snap crotch, which is always something I look for in a bodysuit just because it makes my life so much easier. Um, I have to really love a bodysuit to if I'm wearing it without a snap crotch area because who really wants to deal with taking their whole entire shirt off whenever they go pee not me the straight neck line here just does a great job at you know keeping your boobies in check and not only that it's just a flattering top to wear regardless if you haven't gotten yourself some thin strap shirts body suits like this one highly recommend that you do again another necessity that you just don't have to think about too much whenever you wear it literally put this on some jeans some cute shoes and you are out the door something else that is super trendy right now and i'm actually going to contradict myself real quick but this is actually a square neck bodysuit. this one is by the brand bp I got this one at Nordstrom. This is a thong bodysuit and it does not have a snap crotch, which let's be real, I don't love because I always love myself a snap at the bottom so I don't have to take the whole shirt off. Um, but if I'm being honest, this is thin enough to the point where like if you have to go pee, you can do one of those like tuck it off to the side and like pee, you know what I mean? Am I giving you visuals right now? I'm giving you visuals right now. 
It's super flattering and I feel like it looks nice on the chest. Not only that, I love to pair these with a lot of jewelry. I'm very much into over accessorizing my neck, kind of how I have right now. I love gold necklaces and I love to layer them. Whenever I wear them, I always love to pair a very simple top with it just because it's a simple look but it makes a statement. Racerback tops, racerback tops, racerback tops. Okay, honestly, these have been such a trend lately and they're actually kind of hard to get your hands on right now. I got this one from Nasty Gal that I wanted to show you guys. I actually haven't even worn it yet, but I love it. I love the way that it fits me and I'm just waiting for the perfect time to wear it. This is a great top. I wanted to show it to you guys because I do think Nasty Gal still has some in stock right now. They have these in black as well. I like these because they're ribbed and one quick thing is try to always get ribbed detailing if you are somebody who has a lot of chichos, love handles. I'm the first one to always have them. Exhibit A, I'm wearing a ribbed shirt right now. Rib details are really great to just conceal that versus something that's just like a straight which will show all the grooves in your body if you're just not into it. Once again, snap crotch, love it. I know Zara also has some but they're like always sold out too but I will link some options for you guys down below. Point is try to get yourself a high neck top. And last but not least for tops, we're gonna talk about graphic tees for a second. I'm only gonna show you guys one only because this can be a really long video if I'm showing you all my graphic tees. I love this one. This one I got at Target. This is a Prince Purple Rain graphic tee. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Just for reference, whenever I'm getting a graphic tee, I always like to size up by two. Perfect to pair with some biker shorts, some denim shorts. They really just do a great job at kind of grunging up your look, giving you a little bit more edge, but at the same time, still keeping you super comfortable because who doesn't love a graphic tee? An oversized graphic tee when you are bloated or you just ate, girl, the best. It feels like you're wearing pajamas, and honestly, I'm always here for a graphic tee moment. Let me know what some of your favorite graphic tee shops are. My favorites are definitely Targets and I always get men's graphic tees by the way. I also have a few from Boohoo that I really like. As of lately I've bought a few from Shein which are okay um, and Tilly's is another great place to find graphic tees. If you don't have a graphic tee for summer you definitely need to get at least five. Okay. For me this summer Bermuda shorts are definitely the business just because it's not super duper short you won't have to worry about your butt cheek hanging out but at the same time it still shows some leg. It's still breathable and I just love myself a good Bermuda short and this one right here by Target Universal Thread is the business. I'm gonna link that video so you guys can see. I won't talk too too much about it but these are definitely the business. This can't go wrong with a true Bermuda short that's reliable, that fits you nicely, that fits your butt nicely, fits your thighs nicely. Alright y'all, biker shorts, biker shorts, biker shorts, biker shorts, biker shorts. I have so many biker shorts but I'm just gonna just hold these two up just because they're the ones that I just had in front of me that I was wearing this week but these are bomb. These are from Boohoo I think and these are from Fashion Nova. I love biker shorts. They're definitely my jam in the summertime. I love to pair them with an oversized graphic tee and just kind of wear some biker shorts and dress my look down with some sneakers that way. Definitely get yourself some biker shorts this summer. I promise you won't be disappointed. They're usually very inexpensive like well under $10 and you just can't go wrong. It feels like leggings except it's more comfortable. You have more legs out. They're breathable. Mm. Mm -mm. Get yourself some biker shorts, okay? Quick bonus, I wanted to throw in these bags just because I feel like, once again, staple. In the summertime, you're usually going to the beach. You're usually doing things that require you to just want to have your hands free, whether you're doing activities outside with your children or you are running on a quick errand and you just don't want to have to deal with a purse get yourself a belt bag or a fanny pack fanny packs are definitely the business they're an essential to me because i love to throw them on whenever i'm going to the park real quick with my daughter to just blow bubbles or something i don't want to have to deal with just carrying my purse and I don't know about you guys but I'm not the type of person to throw my purse in my car I have just always like felt a type of way about that because I always feel like okay if somebody breaks in my car and I'm not looking like that's it my purse is going with them so I'm just not the type to throw my purse in my car I don't know about you guys let me know in the comments down below if you are a car purse kind of girl or you are just you take your purse with you type of girl like let me know because I usually always carry my purse with me um so because of that I like to wear fanny packs this one is by adidas right here it's really cute I just throw it on literally strap it on my waist put my ID some money and my card in there and 
go about my day. And another option is this belt bag here. This is from Fashion Nova. I think I bought this maybe like a year or two ago. I will link it below, but these are definitely like a step up because they're not as casual as like this one. You know what I mean? Like you can definitely dress this up. I have in the past. I've worn this with a dress. So yeah, I love these. And then that way you can be hands-free and not have to worry about having a purse on you, which is great. So I wanted to mention them just because once again, they're basics to me and they're essentials to me. I just feel like they're a must-have, especially for summer when you're doing things outside and you just don't want to have to deal with carrying a purse. All right, guys. And that is going to wrap up my summer essential basics. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what some of your summer essentials are and what things that you absolutely need to have in the summertime. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join my little YouTube family. I'd love to have you guys here. We are growing so much every day and I'm so grateful for it. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.